Welcome to episode one of the TFN News Roundup. My name is David, and these are the headlines. What's that you hear? Well, it's me, and let's be perfectly honest with you. You all know that I love talking, and I thought to myself, well, what can we do to spice things up a little bit? Why not talk about what's going on with the news? Little bit of history. Bef long before many of you were born, I started doing a Transformers podcast, and it has been over a decade since I left that, but I always like talking about the news, and I figured to myself, well, why not do one for you, the lovely people who support TF Nation? So if you're watching this on Patreon, you'll have gotten it a couple of days early. And if you're watching this on YouTube, welcome. Thank you very much for supporting. I hope you enjoy this. Please give the video a like, a thumbs up, a whatever it is. Share it on social media and leave a comment. Are my opinions valid? Are my opinions completely rubbish? Of course they're not. But feel free to say that, and then I will tell you a new one in the comments. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Right, so let's talk about a little bit of the Transformers news that's been going on. So, our first news story is the fact that TF Nation has announced its first guest for TFN 2024, and that is... Catherine Cavari, or Kat for short. Kat will be joining us in August. If you don't know who Kat is, well, she's been in multiple shows, including several stints as Marvel's uh, Ms. Marvel. And, of course, she is playing Twitch on Transformers Earthspark. I'm really excited that she's going to be joining us because I think it shows that... Even though it's the 40th anniversary of Transformers, we can still celebrate the future of the brand as well. So Kat's going to be joining us in August. I can't wait. Obviously, go over to the TFN website or go to our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, or X as it's now called, and you can get more details and look out because the tickets will be going on sale very, very soon. So that's a really cool bit of news to kick us off with. Let's talk a little bit about comic books as well is anybody enjoying skybound at the minute oh what's that everybody's hand has gone up yep understandable i'm loving it too you know daniel warren johnson is doing such a phenomenal phenomenal job with it i think i was hooked like right from the get-go i've said this on x twitter whatever you want to call it and i think it holds true this might be, like, my favourite version of Optimus Prime. I've heard a couple of people say that as well, but he's just so earnest and honest. I, I think it's clear that Daniel Warren Johnson is a massive fan of the dad Optimus Prime that we all grew up with. I say we all grew up with us old men with grey hair. We all grew up with it. But it just feels so lovely. And Starscream, if you know me... Never been a Starscream fan. Never really appealed to me. But you know what? I am digging this Starscream. Why? Because he's an absolute monster. You know, the old adage when you talk about uh, villains is that they need to have that kick the dog moment. And what they mean by that is that if somebody kicks the dog, it just means that you really want to see them get their comeuppance because how could they do something so heinous? I think Starscream's had about three or four kick the dog moments at the minute, and that's probably underselling it. So I'm really loving what they're doing at the moment. And we've just gotten a official trailer for the Energon Universe Wave 2. So this dropped from Skybound, and we have finally got the answer. Spoiler alert, we have finally got the answer to the question of where is Megatron? Now, if you've read up to issue four, you'll know that the closing image of that issue was Megatron trapped in ice but now we found out that he is going to be in fact the prisoner of Cobra Commander. Prisoner? Perhaps partner? I have no idea. Now I will say as much as I am really enjoying the Energon universe this has left me a little bit uncertain because I've never been a fan of G.I. Joe. I've read the Duke one-shot, and I really enjoyed it, by Joshua Williamson. But I, I'm not a fan of G.I. Joe. 
And so I'm not entirely sure that I want this crossover, especially so early on. I want to see what Megatron is like in this universe. I don't want to see what a Megatron controlled by Cobra Commander is like. I mean, if anything else, you know, the idea of Megatron being captured by humans and reprogrammed to become a killing machine. Hey, look, it's Dreamwave all over again. But possibly not the best way to start off. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. However, what I will say is even though I'm not a Joe fan and never have been, I'll at least give this a shot because the writing and the artwork has been so on point lately. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below. Are you reading the comment? Are you, comic? Are you enjoying it? Are you passing on it because it's not IDW or because it's not Marvel? Mind you, I think, to be honest, if you're a fan of the old Marvel comics, this should feel pretty much right up your wheelhouse. I've said to a couple of people that it genuinely does feel like a modern update to the old Marvel comics. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And last but not least, today we're going to be talking about the fact that Robosen, those crazy bar stewards who somehow managed to create actual Transformers, have unveiled a sneak peek at their next major release. And it is going to be, of course... Megatron. Now, I'm not telling you that I might know something about this, uh, but what I'm going to say is that if it was Megatron, that would be really cool and it would look awesome. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is, if I were saying that, wink, wink, hint, hint. I think this looks excellent. It's finally about time to get some Decepticons in the line. I think everybody can agree. Um, is he going to be a tank? I think it's a safe bet, wouldn't you? I mean, it's hardly like they're going to be creating a self-transforming Waltha P-38. That would be uh, just really bad, let's be honest. So, yeah, most likely going to be a tank, I would imagine. But, you know what this means? And I'm not sort of wishing my life away here. Do you all think, wait a minute, if we're getting a Decepticon, we need more Decepticons, which means how far away are we from a RoboSense sound wave? Now, I've said this since the line began. These things are incredible pieces of technology. They are incredible to watch. I've been lucky enough to talk with uh, Rocky, who works for Robosense several times, both in person uh, and online, and talk about the technology that goes into these things. They are wonderful. However, they're not for me. These don't fit with my collecting aesthetic. These are incredibly expensive. Uh, so, you know, subscribe on Patreon and help me get my Robosense toy. Um, but, <laughs> but... Uh, the the fact is, if they did a RoboSense sound wave, and just picture this, and I, look, I'm not predicting the future here, all right? I know some things, I don't know other things. This is me completely speculating here. Imagine a sound wave that had a built-in MP3 player. Could you imagine how amazing that would be? Especially given the fact that it's voice commanded. Heck, go to Amazon and get the... I'm not going to say the word. Al... Uh, uh, let's call it Alenson. Um, Ale, Alexon. Something like that. Get that. Stick it into Soundwave. Could you imagine how cool that would be? Like if you could link up your Spotify account with a, a transforming Soundwave. I think that would be absolutely incredible. Will they get Frank Welker back as well? Optimus Prime uh, had Peter Cullen. Greg Berger was there for Grimlock. Only stands to reason that Frank's going to be here for Megatron, you would hope. And if you got Frank in the studio, well, you might as well record some lines for Soundwave. I know it's kind of weird, isn't it? Like, I'm saying, like, oh, they're promoting Megatron, and I'm thinking to myself, yeah, forget Megatron. But let's be honest, Soundwave would be so cool. I think this Megatron will be great if it is a tank, I'm sure a lot of people would love a, a lovely G2 colour scheme. Uh, I know Mr. Andrew Turnbull, our art director at TFN, would be absolutely thrilled by that. Let me know what you think. Have you bought any of these? Do you think 
they are for you? Uh, or would it be a case that you're just s selecting, you know, specific characters? I'm sure a lot of people would be looking for, like, let's say a Starscream, for example. You know, again, another big character, a big popular character from the franchise. Who would you like to see? What would you like to see from Robosen? Do they break from the G1 aesthetic? Who knows? Let me know what you think. Anyway, that's it really for this particular episode. This first episode. My hope with this is that I'm going to be able to come to you every single week with a little bit of a roundup of several news stories that really piqued my interest over the course of the, the week. If you've got any comments, questions, or anything like that, please feel free to put them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And if there's something really interesting, I might incorporate it into the show uh, as a bit of a, a user section. So just before I wrap this up, I do just want to say thank you all so very much for listening. Again, please do give a like, comment, subscribe, all of that fun stuff uh, to tell us that you want us to make more of this. Uh, and if, again, you want to support us, you can find our Patreon in the links below, along to all of the links to the TFN socials, uh, Twitter or X. I'm going to keep calling it Twitter. I know, whatever. Uh, Facebook, our website... Go along, have a look at that. Like I say, the tickets are on sale very, very shortly. If you were lucky enough to get tickets for our Minicon in March in Manchester, we'll see you then. I'll be there uh, along with the rest of the TFN crew, because obviously, who'd be running the show if we weren't there? Um, but stay tuned for more news as it comes about. And thank you all so much. I am David. This has been the news that I've been interested in. And I'll see you all next week. Bye for now.